Hello everyone. I was just driving by when I saw this beautiful view and I decided I should shoot my next video here. If you have religiously followed my navigating relationship videos, you might have noticed that I love to have a scenic background. I've always wanted you to enjoy a good view as you listen to the story. I'm slightly short of time as you might well understand so I'm going to give you an abridged version of the real story. So the story is about a boy someone who has anger issues. He threw temper tantrums too frequently. His father would advise him that it's not good to get angry, to say mean and hurtful things. But then he'd say, "Father, I just can't control myself." And don't I say, "Sorry? That's enough, I think." So then his father realizes there's no point in giving him advice. So he so he thinks of a different way to help him understand the issues that could arise from his temper tantrums. So what his father does is he gives his son a bag full of nails and he asks him to drive a nail into their fence in the backyard each time he lost his school. The boy does his father's bidding and soon the fence is riddled with nails. Once he drives all the nails in, he goes and tells his father that he's exhausted all the nails. Do you notice how bad the fence looks now? asks his father. The boy agrees with this. Now pull each of those nails out and say a sorry to the fence. The boy does as he's told and then comes back and tells his father that the fence looks no better with the nails pulled out. Yes son, pulling out the nails may be your apology to the fence, but does it alter the damage done? You have left ugly holes there, like the pain you leave in the hearts of those you wound with your thoughtless and unfair words. Have you really fixed the fence by removing the nails? That's what spiteful words said in anger can do to your relationship. You might say sorry but it doesn't fill the holes that have been left behind. Now I understand father said the boy a few days later. I'll not say mean things to others. I'll try to dig behind why I'm angry and will consider how my words will impact others. And only then will I speak. Anger when not in your control can be like the blind force of a hammer that damages property. Anger that's harnessed for good is like water that cuts through rocks and adds beauty to the world. Hold on to this thought and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.